morning vlog. Um, we're doing a doing another hill specific session today, believe it or not. I'm just uh, loosening up my hip a little bit. See, the seal's a little bit stuck this morning, particularly kind of in the uh, just like you kind of see like football players warming up by uh, by doing some leg swim swings. Um, it kind of gets not only the glute activated a little bit, which uh, which tends to be stressed a lot when you're climbing out the saddle and doing a lot of climb, kind of hill effort work. Um, uh, glute strength tends to be ignored, so warming up the glutes a little bit and uh, and opening up that hip at the same time. Um, <coughs> Today's uh, today's session is is like really really simple. I'm literally only out for an hour on the bike today because I'm doing some plyometric work later. Nearly fell off then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so today's session real real simple. One hour. I'm doing um, I'm doing a little warm up of maybe 10-15 minutes. Uh, nothing more than like zone two. I'm not really uh, concerned about. You know, having a having a full on depth warm up, and then uh, I'm hitting this hill that's going to be around five minutes in length. This um, these actual efforts I'm doing, I'm going to do a 10 second sprint into the climb. We're going to settle straight out down into 400 watts, uh, which will be VO2 max, and then um, we'll settle there for about a minute 50. So that'll be two minutes on the clock, and then we're going to come down to zone two for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna hit out again for two and a half minutes of 400 watts or, or VO2 max. So um, it's kind of stressing the two systems. You're going over and under, plus you get that little bit of sprint uh, at the beginning as well to get you going. Riders or coach do this. If I haven't already, you will be doing it at some point. Um, they, they benefit everybody. They're really good. Uh, they're really good for uh, really mixing it up. And because I'm only doing an hour, I'm doing three of these efforts. And they'll be designed uh, to just keep me ticking over until uh, Saturday. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow I'd usually do a pre-race ride, but I'm just going to keep it steady. I'm not going to do any efforts because I'm doing efforts today. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll chat to you briefly after these efforts. There's a lot of things to take into consideration. Like obviously I'm racing every weekend, sometimes twice a weekend. And um, yeah, you know, how am I supposed to train during the week as well as uh, as well as race? Because obviously the hill climbs are very intense and it depends what length they are. Um, you obviously end up going quite deep. There's kind of two ways of looking at it, I think. Sometimes what I'll try to do, I'll try to do another ride after the hill climb on a Sunday, which means I can make the most of that day as opposed to just doing a hill climb and then going home and you, you've only ridden for like half an hour um, and I guess the other way you could look at it is like you need to be fresh for the hill climb that's like one of the first things you need to be fresh for it because uh, it's going to take like a lot of effort and y your muscles need to be uh, you know fully pumped uh, they need to be fueled properly and you know you really need to be you need to be on that start line feeling fresh, feeling good, feeling ready to give everything. If you've got a little bit of fatigue there and you're lining up on the start line mentally as well as physically, you're going to feel like, oh, I'm not going to get out of this. But like you say, also during the week, like you've got to be careful of not going too deep because you can only do so many hard efforts uh, during the week as well as race a hill climb on the weekend. I've actually found today that my legs have been quite sore, even though I've hardly done anything. Like I've just done kind of two or three hour rides with not really any intensity in them but that's why it's important to listen to yourself and it doesn't matter how much you plan or it doesn't matter how much your coach plans stuff for you that's why I always hammer home it's always important to, to listen to yourself first and foremost um, so in terms of like my kind of stuff I try to do a ride the day after the hill climb if I haven't done one uh, the afternoon of it if that makes any sense um, so I kind of front load the week uh, and then the back end of the week near the hill climbs I try to freshen up so the only thing I'd say about that and this is why it's such a hard battle I think to you know kind of maintain your fitness for the hill climbs as well as um, as well as kind of 
being fresh because it, obviously if you're fresh and too much you lose fitness so during the week like you can't really do anything that will take a lot out of you because you, you end up having to recover it takes like two days to recover from it so you have to dial it back somewhat you keep the the intervals there um, but really reduce the amount of time you're spending on the bike so oh my legs are cramping up really badly nearly done yet what I'm saying is like Today I was going to do three five minute efforts and I've actually toned it down to, to two five minute efforts because in reality that's 10 minutes at like 400 watts which is kind of what I'll do on the weekend anyway in the hill climb so using my noodle a bit there and I was thinking right okay let's not do 15 minutes in total let's just stick with the five uh, let's just stick with the 10. I, I guess the biggest takeaway from this is I guess the biggest takeaway from this is like to kind of front load the week a little bit and then maybe include one kind of opener I guess near the end of the week so it gives you like say Thursday if your hill climb is Saturday or Friday if your hill climb is Sunday it gives you something to make sure the systems are firing properly and I suppose that's where it differs with you know road race pre-race rides you know the day before and hill climb pre-race rides the day before you don't really need to do a lot the day before a hill climb because you don't want to take any of that kind of edge off yourself uh, as opposed to uh, a road race where you can almost start um, by doing a little bit more the day before. At least that's what that's what I've always done. Oi. I made it. I'm on it. So yeah, cool. Well. I hope I've tried to explain a little bit there. If I haven't explained it very well, I'm really sorry, but drop a comment down below and I'll try to clear something up. Um, yeah, but as always, smash that thumbs up, thumb, hit that thumbs up button for me, and I'll see you tomorrow as we get ready for next weekend, this weekend. Cheers. Oh no, how am I gonna get back here? Cleats are so slippery. Oh.